is a pro MMA contest in the Bantamweight division, consisting of three five-minute rounds. Let's welcome one more time, fighting out of the blue corner, representing Fight Industry, making her professional debut this evening, ladies and gentlemen, Danielle, the housewife, Miss Deli. And her opponent in the red corner, representing Lions Gym in Carpentry. An unbeaten professional record of one win and no losses. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome one more time, Melissa No Less Mullins. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we're at the business end of the card now. Melissa No Mess Mullins, 1-0, fighting out of the red corner in the two-piece. The black two-piece taking on the debuting Danielle Mistelli in the t-shirt and black shorts. And they call Melissa no mess for a reason because she tends not to mess around in there and gets people out early and violently. Yeah, she's gotta be careful of that, that eye poke early on there, Danielle Mistelli. She's come over from Fafikon, Switzerland. I believe I pronounced that correctly. But yeah, she's using that. Yeah, she's that trying to kind post of frame, out. Yeah, and Keep Mullins at, at bay, but you've got to be careful that Mullins just doesn't duck underneath that and come firing back. But like you said, there's, she doesn't mess oh, around. Oh, oh, there, there he is. Go. She's landing heavy shots already. The hook. And again, Melissa Mullins hasn't met a fight she didn't like. <laughs> yeah, she throws with bad intentions. We saw that in her uh, professional debut against Josie Blaber back at GTFP 14, yeah, where she just flurried her up against the fence with vicious, vicious shots. And Blaber, a tough young lady. Like, again, M Melissa Mullins has been running through people, but Danielle Mistelli must feel there's something in the game that she can exploit, and that's why they're here. But staying heavy is Melissa trying to get that knee up the middle. Yeah, she's doing a nice she's job just, the fence here. I'm just waiting for her to disengage. In the moment that she disengages, she's going to follow it with either a, an elbow or a big, big, big shot. Melissa Rest calling for a little bit more action, but and, then, and Melissa's chipping away, but that overhook is Mustelli turns Mullins back to the cage. Right. Mullins says, no, 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 I'm not having any of that. <laughs> Stand yeah. heavy, pressuring in. Yeah, muscles are back to the fence. And as you said, I think as soon as she gets the opportunity to disengage and start flurrying up against the fence, because yeah. that's where she specializes. She forces the, uh, her opponents back against the fence with the strikes and then, uh, and then lets go and unleashes <laughs> Yeah, barrages. in the words of Gladiator, it's unleash hell. <laughs> yeah. But Mustelli doing, you know, keeping her close. Yeah, it's her back against the cage, but she's not eating horrible big shots at the moment. Nice knee there from Melissa. And again, James Dixon in the corner of... Uh, well, Melissa I did Williams. have to ask because, of course, James Melissa re married not too long ago. I didn't know if it was Melissa Dixon, Melissa Dixon <laughs> Mullins, Melissa Muxin, Mullins Dixon. Instead, it's Melissa. No mess Mullins. <laughs> Referee breaks them there, and we're interested to see how long it'll take before we start seeing those big and, uh, shots. Yeah, and here it is. It's not going to take very long. The fence. And this is before from Melissa Mullins. And this is the thing. Once she starts landing, we watch opponents shrink. Yeah, she doesn't stop until they will, and the referee's pulling her off them. And uh... Mustelli looking to try and get back to her feet. I can't see if she's. Got her arms hooked around that leg, was looking to try and... But Got to be careful about giving up the back here as she gets back to her feet. Melissa looking to try and disengage there. Nice job there by Mistelli, by... Yep. Retaking the, uh, the dominant position. We've seen a lot of grinding work up against the fence in this first round. Absolutely. Melissa with that short, short little elbow there. Yeah, just framing off and then and doing it the again. Back down. Using that forehead, but again, no quitting. Danielle Mistelli is chipping away. Melissa try, trying to stay heavy. Yeah, Mistelli's thinking, oh, I haven't come all the way over from Switzerland. Yeah, <laughs> not going to come <laughs> and lie down. Yeah, 
to see this fight finish in the uh, in the first few seconds in favour of my opponent. So. Yeah, and, and another Paul Cross, we've here. seen enough. So. I mean, I, I'm not one to criticise officials, referees, I, I, anything I, like that, but I, I mean, they look like they're working. It in looked, there. certainly looked like Daniel Mastelli was doing enough to want to keep it there. Oh, and Melissa, the oh, another big up, and a knee to the body, and another knee. And this is what has separated Melissa from most of her opponents is that apparent power. And there it was on right display the again there, straight in the mount. And she's not going to shy away from this throwing is the shots. Of the end. Referee Referee's seen enough. It. And Melissa Mullins just takes a little bit of time standing up. I don't think Mastelli is particularly pleased about the stoppage. She thinks it was early. I mean, a couple of those shots landed quite flush, but. I, don't know. I mean, you she was in a bad position. She was turned turned to the side, kind of one arm up, posted mount, up to try and... Mounted in yeah. with Melissa Mullins throwing down shots. Hey. Was she intelligently defending herself? I don't think so. Well, you know, th 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 there's always the school of thought that he, could she have taken a few more clean? Probably. They were yeah. coming off the gloves. They were coming off the hands. At the same time, sometimes you've got to save a fighter from themselves. Too tough for their own good. And there's Melissa Mullins. Getting our little break dancing routine in. <laughs> That's another 2 0 oh now. Still complaining about the stoppage to a corner, man. It's uh, Danielle Mistelli, but. That's a long way to come for a fight that you feel might be stopped a little bit early. She is busted open a little bit. Yeah, some of those shots definitely landed and we're getting through. And like we said, she was turned to her side and kind of had that arm posted up as a, a form of defence. But again, I, I, just to echo what you said, we could have seen her eat three or four more shots and then the referee step in. So, yeah, they did. Do you do you? And I suppose the argument is we're now in the pro ranks. They know what they're getting into. Give them a chance to try and survive. Or do you look out for the best interest of the athlete? Because they won't look after their best interest. <laughs> yeah. All right, Mr. Crossley brings him in the middle of the cage. Let's turn it over to our MC and make this result official. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee stopped this contest in the very first round. To the winner, by TKO, Melissa Nolan! Mullin!